Mm-hmm, that's right. I promised it a while ago. Took a few weeks, took a few tweaks, but the game room is almost where I want it to be. Still got room to hang up some more posters, uh, but screw it. Let's do this. It's go time. This is the actual game room tour. Let's go inside. <laughs> Teams, my cubbies, sweetness, go bears. That's what my dad's doing. Uh, shout out to Alex Pardee, the legend, Bay Area native, uh, with some of his sweet artwork that I have. That's right. Captain America doing what he does best. My uh, Captain America screening ticket. The triple feature extravaganza of Hot Fuzz, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, and Shaun of the Dead. You know what I'm saying? And come on, baby. John Boyega's first film. You know what I'm saying. That's right, bruv. That's right, bruv. Got a little, uh, a little WWE fanny pack, courtesy of Slam Crate. This one is signed. Uh, we got, I think, Seth Rollins, Bray Wyatt, Roman Reigns, Bailey. Anyone else? Nakamura, maybe? Did I get Knife to sign it? I think so. Shout out to the Warrior, Sasha Banks. Gotta have your boss shades. Rey Mysterio, I think I got that at Mania. Uh, shout out to Superman, go forward. Here is uh, the stream setup. You can finally start streaming again. Uh, I got the gaming chair, courtesy of RapidX. With my, uh, it's for my butt. This is from the Microsoft E3 2007 media briefing. There's a throwback. Got a couple of my WWE chairs back here. Got my uh, TLC from two years ago. That was in San Jose. Hell in a Cell from last year. That was up in SAC uh, with that wild finish. Uh, I'll just take you through some of my uh, some of my collectibles. My Assassin and Son trilogy comic. Shout out to the homie Shad Gaspar. There's the uh, the new edition just came out from Scout Comics behind it. Uh, there's my change the date because I was going to get married. Had to change the date. Captain America Shield. Uh, some toys that I got from Loot Crates and uh, picked up in sh Japan. Uh, yes, indeed. You never know when uh, you're going to have to do some EP reviews on the run. Uh, so you got to have your mic ready. You got a Ferrari Thrustmaster control back there. It's an Xbox One autographed uh, controller signed by Snoop Dogg. God, come on. You got to have the girls. Boom. Shout out to the girls. Another attack the block, Alex Pardee goodness to go with my poster. A little bit of my DVD goodness, just a few. My Japanese uh, Tokusatsu Ultraman, Ultraman on DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, what you know about Japanese Supaidaman though? Come on, come on, Supaidaman. Change, Leo Pardo. And the Goonies, of course, little uh, Hitchcock collection. A couple gaming CDs. We got Video Games Live, level five. Ninja Gaiden soundtrack. Pick that up in uh, Japan. And then uh, Heartbeat Circuit. There goes Video Games Live. And there goes Heartbeat Circuit. All right. Just some more things stacked in here. Got the Golden Girl cereal for a healthy, balanced breakfast. Uh, there's Marvin. Hello, Marvin. Just a couple of Amiibo, the Japanese Marios. And then we got some Fire Emblem over there next to Lilu Dallas Multipass. There she is. Some Halo 3 uh, Kubricks. I think I picked up at Comic Con. There's some uh, limited edition Skylanders and more stuff back there. We got my Pops. Shout out to my boys. The New Day! That's right. Gotta have your Kofi. Xavier Woods, Big E. And then the girls again. You know, got the New Day ride on top of the girls. And then, of course, if you know me, you know my love for Big Trouble in Little China is real. It's on the reflexes. Got the whole pop set. 
Uh, some more WWE stuff. Got The Rock up there. The uh, Beanie Baby from WrestleMania 21, my first WrestleMania. The Ric Flair Woo edition. Uh, we got The Rock with Quentin Rampage Jackson. This little uh, Rey Mysterio guy. We got. We got signed Hulk Hogan. Uh, figure that my buddy Joey gave to me. And then up here we got even more stuff. We got my OG 1983, 84 Return of the Jedi R2D2 Eraser. Got my Angry Bird that was given to me by the Mighty Eagle, Peter Vestabaka. Uh, when I interviewed him when Angry Birds first came out, he was just like, here, it's a slingshot. And he gave it to me. Nice guy. Got my Bootio's uh, Lunch Pail. WWE Mike. Got some David Blaine playing cards. My original Dragon Dagger. My Legacy Golden 24 karat Gold Edition Dragon Dagger. Got some Ready Player One stuff up there. Some Rick and Morty. Shout out to Uncle Rick. The Rock. There's my Leopoldon slash Supida Man. Thing I've had forever. Look at the price on that. It was like 35 bucks, I think. I think that thing's about like 200 bucks now. Then we got, uh, got some Simpsons goodness. Power Rangers goodness. Uh, my Rez figure. Or my Raz figure from Psychonauts 2. From kickstarting that. Sega Genesis USB port, which is awesome. A little Doctor Strange. There's Wedding Mario. There's a little wedding gift. We got some uh, One Punch Man, some Robotech. Got some foam figures up there off the Battletoads from E3. Uh, and then I think it's a shocker. Big foam shocker. Again, it's my two, uh, my two screen setup. I obviously have to have glow pan. The essentials here, okay? You gotta have your, uh, your Christopher Walken pin, crown ring, Waverly Labs headset. Uh, and then if you, uh, if you know Jean-Claude Van Damme, you might know the movie Cyborg. I like the death. I like the misery. I like this one! Oh, about Slinger, the director's cut. A Blu-ray, low pan, you gotta have your uh, Dragon Age coasters. You know what I'm saying? There's a set. There's a sit on my face Deadpool coaster I got when I interviewed Ryan Reynolds. Oh yeah, big Attack on Titan mouse pad. Uh, there's my uh, Darth Vader PlayStation 4. Next to my Scorpio edition. Xbox One. Then you got the big TV with just a few consoles set up. So we got the PS3, 360, uh, another PS4, and my N64, my Switch. All style, all uh, connected, ready to rock. Underneath here, got my rock band, uh, my rock kit, a little smoke machine. <laughs> uh, I got a couple dev kit, Xbox 360s. Another N64 because one has the uh, booster pack, and one doesn't. Got my Atari, you know, the OG Atari 2600. Got my Retron 5, play some classics. Um, then we have, uh, let's see, we got my PlayStation VR. It's kind of a mess down there. Got some Astro uh, pads. Obviously, your Soul Calibur 4 Soul Edition fight stick. And then this is kind of cool. This, uh, I don't know how many of these were made, but this was an NFL Blitz Edition PS3 that I won at an EA event for completely dominating an SSX and uh, Blitz. I think there was another game, but I crushed it there. Uh, yeah, I got my Max still in the wrapper because I never take my wrappers off. PlayStation Pillow to have my WWE replica belts there's my up up down down championship I like to say I won that off Becky Lynch at the 2k20 event um, but some will say I bought it there's my Mondo Man of Steel poster of course not to be outshined by the Rob Schamberger ultimate warrior my vintage Disneyland sign up there uh, and then up top, just a little rack of knickknacks. Got Catwoman. There's my Venom mask. A juice, juice pong set from The Sims 3. You got a uh, Rick Sanchez back there, Morty. He's wearing a Sonic hat. It's unbelievable. Uh, there's another mask that I got. Uh, there's the Call of Duty. It was Modern Warfare 2? The Black Ops? I don't know. Night vision goggles that actually work. There's a Halo limited edition. 
helmet. Got my Titanfall statue up there. Uh, come on, Cowboy Bebop. Okay, three, two, one, it's jam. Scorpion's back there. You can see Master Chief hanging out on the Titan. There's my beer pong rack for whenever a random beer pong game blows up. We got a Zelda collector's edition for the Switch back there. Come down, just a couple plushies. Gotta have your ratchet and clank. Poor Rappel the Rappel, little curbs. And then just some uh, collector editions we got here. A little Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed, there's another Assassin's Creed. We got a little uh, Mortal Kombat bookend. Some Black Ops, a hardened edition, Dark Souls. Still sealed because you know how I love Dark Souls. Fable 3, GTA 4. There's my old passport. Uh, this is cool. Space Invader Extreme. Limited to 180. That's number 44. Uh, you got creator of Pac-Man. With the Pac-Man face that was celebrating the anniversary. Some, some bling. Some championship uh, ring replicas we got. Some giants. And some Niners. Some bears. Warriors, the Cubbies, this is my favorite one. Got this after my dad passed away. Engraved with the last name of myself and him, Sanchez. WWE belt buckle with Bowser. Little uh, portal action. These are very cool. These, uh, these are prototype. Marty McFly, Doc Brown, Back to the Future 2, Mega Mates. They're not really mini mates. Great Scott! Great Scott! Great Scott! Great Scott! Great Scott! Uh, but we did some stories with those guys. I think it was at Emerald City Comic Con. One of the cons. And they were just like, oh, you like Back to the Future. Do you want these? Hell yes, I want those. I don't know if those uh, exist anywhere else in the world, but right here. On top of my Darksiders 2 Collector's Edition. Obviously, if you know me, you know I love Spelunky. Got the whole set of Spelunky figs. Uh, my mini console, sometimes, you know, you gotta crush abs. Shout out to Insanity. Mini Nintendo, Super Nintendo, PlayStation. There's a Genesis under there, but that's the original Genesis. Uh, my UFC gloves I got when I did the UFC event. Hang out with Dana White. Saints Row 3. Uh, there's a bottle of uh, Saints Row whiskey in that. Obviously, you gotta have your Infinity Gauntlet. I didn't want to buy the expensive one, so I did the uh, loot box one. Then we got my very small GameCube collection. Still have more games at my mom's house I'm going to have to go find. Uh, my N64 collection. If you know me, you know I love wrestling. And No Mercy, while it may be one of the greatest wrestling games, this game right here, still sealed, Virtual Pro Wrestling 2. Boom. That's right. One of the greatest wrestling games ever made. There's the other bookend, my Mortal Kombat. My Rick and Morty virtual Rick Ality, the little uh, unraveled goodness, Yarny hanging out. Uh, so here we have the PlayStation 2 collection. Not too many PlayStation 2 games. I don't think I don't know if I ever reviewed many PS2 games. I think I didn't start reviewing stuff until the PS3. We got my Xbox collection under over here. Advent Rising, the game featuring me as a voice, uh, if you beat it and get to the end. This is simply unbelievable! These charges are preposterous! The Seekers are responsible for the sapiency of many of us in this very room! Uh, but yeah, there you go. There's a little bit... Or the whole entire Xbox collection. The Xbox 360, uh, the console I definitely have the most game of. This whole shelf is all... 360 games. Uh, here's my Yoda lamp hanging out. My shoes charging. We got uh, C3PO. Got some uh, some books down here. Armada, Ready Player One. My Big Trouble in Little China. Hardback collection. Nakamura's Viz Media. But got a couple gaming pins. Check out that. There you go. There's a throwback. G4. Do or do not. There is no try. <laughs> That does that. Shout out to San Jose's own Bailey. Champ. Role model extraordinaire. A little bit of some nerd books. Got my Ultraman again. Love me some Ultraman. Dragon Ball. One Punch Man. Battle Royale. Some Terry Brooks. Knight of the Word. Uh, this is a lantern that I brought home from Sweden. 
It's going through a Bray Wyatt phase. There's me and the bubs. The daddy. It's my uh, Yamanote line train bank. When you drop a coin in, it makes the Yamanote train jingles. It's a couple of uh, figs that I picked up in uh, DVD sets. My Twitch bag. It's got my traveling goodies. You know, when you know you're traveling. It's hard to do with one hand. There's a projector in there. Uh, there you go. The sign of the times. Darth Vader. He's got a mask on mask. Here's another mask that I have. Uh, he's rocking the uh, Adventure Time hat as well as a helmet of armor that I got. That thing weighs a ton. I had to get that through customs. That was great. I got that from Gamescom. These guys were like, thanks for talking about the game Vikings. Here is a real chainmail giant Viking helmet. Head massager on top. One of the greatest DVDs of all time, Boone the Bounty Hunter. And then, of course, Hocus Pocus, because why not? And then, uh, Cops. If they're going to do a live-action movie of this animated series, please have The Rock play Bulletproof. That's all I'm saying. He throws up the eyebrow in the intro. Google it. Look it up on YouTube. It's crime-fighting time. Boom. People's library. It's crime-fighting time. That's my Shakeology uh, two years strong. Have a shake every day. It's good for you. It's my uh, little Star Wars drone that has the coolest box ever. Again, going back to the uh, the 360 collection. It's an awful lot of 360 games. I'm also missing a lot. Beautiful thing about getting to work uh, on Reviews on the Run and Electric Playground is that we got to review a lot of games. But for the longest time, I'd have to review my games and then I'd send them up to Vancouver so they can capture footage about what me and Ben Silverman were talking about. Um, and then they'd never give them back. So thanks, uh, Vic, for holding on to my backlog. Totally Because under here, I think it's kind of cool. Gotcha. I mean, come on. You gotta have your dragon eggs. The mother of dragons. That was just kind of cool. Big Game of Thrones fan, obviously. There's me as a youth. Some more games. Wasteland 2. Kickstarted that bad boy. Got my Skate 3 deck here. Skate 4 finally coming. We're finally getting it after years and years of waiting. And then my signed Tony Hawk deck. Yeah, there's my little uh, little Fallout set up here. This is uh, a loot crate that is full of bottle caps of the beers that I drank. Because, why not? Oh, this one's kind of cool. Got this at E3. It's a Simtech 1000 holographic. Uh, it's one of those Viewmasters. It's got all Fallout stuff in it. Uh, got that Nuka Cola can, or bottle, at a... Uh, Fan Expo, one of my lovely fan peeps. I made, I brought it home. Didn't get rid of it. Still there. Uh, and this is just full of like nerdy stuff. I got nerd socks in here. Just a bunch of trash. Um, and then we got, uh, yeah, we got the little, uh, got my handhelds. Got the, uh, come on, you gotta have your, you know what I'm saying? Pocket Game Boy. Eleven. Got my uh, thing from uh, Da Vinci Code. Or Angels and Demons, whatever that was. Got my Wii U, Han Solo edition. The Star Wars. This is not very easy. One hand. We're getting it done. There's that. Boom. Ah, the PSP. Just a white PSP? Oh, yes. But when you turn it around. Lord Vader. Yes, my child. I'm not gonna zip it up. I'll zip it up later. Boom, and then you got my Tommy Tallarico clamshell. Then we got DS's and DS lights and DS eyes and 3DS's and PSP Go, which obviously. My lucky totem. Creating the mania. An inside look on how WrestleMania comes to life. Written by J. Rob, shout out to J. Rob. Best thing about this book, come on, to Jose. You're the superstar of chapter 31. That's right. 
there's chapter 23 and you go to 31 and it's a uh, it's a chapter about me and just how much I love wrestling so for those who say I'm not much of a wrestling fan come on I'm in a book I'm in a WWE published book oh there's 32 there we go there it is boom Sanchez there it is talks about me the super fan there it is boom Jose Sanchez I am the same Jose Sanchez look ma we made it all that love for wrestling come so far oh, shout out to my Vita come on some old school Nintendo Super Nintendo games obviously Retro City Rampage you know. I went through a phase where I'd rip the covers off of my games I don't know why I'm not much of a collector I just uh, I'm a keeper I'm a keeper of things I get things and I keep them how about a not for sale beta only Xbox one Huh? Yeah. Thank you, Microsoft, for that. Uh huh. You got your Wii U, your Wii, my 360, the test PlayStation 3. Here's a WrestleMania pillow I got in Orlando, or at least the pillowcase. And then my Halo Xbox. There's Joe in all his glory. My mom calls me Joe. Boom. Man cave. Welcome. You're invited. Everyone's invited. And then in here, we just have a bunch of like, oh, you're looking for controllers to play all your old school things. You got to have your controllers. If you're looking for some sort of chargers and power, got to have that. And then, uh, yeah, there's just more stuff, more controllers, more nerdy stuff. And yeah, and then over here, we have the, I guess, as current gen as possible. And right next to my Mafia 2 lamp and my power glove. Come on. I love the power glove. It's so bad. My Super Shogun Stormtrooper. Turn this fan off because it's probably blowing right into the microphone. But yeah, you got your PS4 up top. PS4 games galore. My little minuscule PS Vita collection. Got some black label Final Fantasy 7 and 8 from my PlayStation 1. Uh, you might see the color version of this 30th anniversary pin. I actually got this from Miyamoto at E3. So that was kind of cool. My Dead Cells pin, obviously. We got some my very small Switch collection. Down there we got uh, some Famicom games. I got Goonies 1 and Goonies 2. We only had Goonies 2 in the States. I found Goonies 1 in Japan, and so I bought it. Uh, ooh, I just dropped a game. This is Motorstorm. I think it's Motorstorm. Got Shenmue, Dead Rising 2, and then my Xbox One games. All right there. Some Super Famicom games, uh, PS3 games galore. Got a couple rows of those. Row and a half. Down on the side here, it's just uh, PSP and DS and 3DS games stacked to the brim some gems in there this is just my bag of original Game Boy games Ooh. hey there's Bravely Second I was looking for that Super Puzzle Fighter classic gotta have your Coleco Donkey Kong you got a uh, come on E.T. is it back there and uh, Pac-Man on the uh, Atari Got my box copies of Space Invaders, Missile Command, Combat, and Asteroids. And then we got uh, even the Intellivision coming back in a big way. Tron! Both of those right there. Genesis. I mean, if you're going to get Genesis games, Aladdin and the Lion King, those are the ones you want. Battle Forge from EA. I got The Witcher, Crime Craft. This is a good one. Crime Craft on the PC, signed by Little Evil himself, Jens Pulver. He's in the game. He's in the game. And then my Wii collection. A bunch of Wii games. Got some Wii U's down here. Animal Crossing, Zelda, Zombie U. I got that when I went to Ubisoft in Shanghai. So they gave me the, the Chinese version of Zombie U. That's kind of cool. I have a Japanese version of Devil's Third right there yeah just a bunch of games I got a lot of games and that 
um, I believe, is the game room. Got an ottoman that's just full of more controllers. It's going to get a lot bigger. It's going to get a lot grander. But uh, that's it. Thanks for hanging out in my game room. Hopefully uh, you saw some things you liked. If you got some things you want to add to my collection, let me know. I will gladly add them. Although my wife probably won't like it too much. But we're going to get some more posters up on the wall and switch things up a little bit. Got my lucky cheeky guy guarding the room, so don't try to do a B and E. It's not a bacon and eggs, it's a breaking and enter. Oh yeah, oh and of course, come on. The rug. The rug and carbonite. Han Solo himself. So thank you so much. Be sure to hit subscribe, like, comment. You can hate if you want. Haters gotta hate. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Until then, it's all in the reflexes.